I'm going to show you real quick how I edit a typical newborn session. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do that I don't normally do is I'm going to duplicate my layer here and hide it so that I can show you a before and after later. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is fix my background. I'm going to do that by duplicating my layer. Keyboard shortcut, Command T to transform it. I'm going to scoot my background over, select my eraser, and I'm going to erase the parts of the front layer that I no longer need. And my computer is obviously running a little slow since I want to make a video. It's like taking your children out in public and telling people they behave. All of a sudden they do the opposite. Okay, so you can see there's still a little spot over here that um, is not yet covered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer that I just made. I'm going to Command T it. Drag it down a little bit to fill in. And same thing, I'm going to erase the edges here. I think I'm going to drag it down just a hair more. Make sure that you erase um, all of the layer that might be on the baby. Okay, so now that we have our background duplicated, I'm going to merge these layers. And I'm going to edit the baby skin. First thing I'm going to do is a little burn tool on the eyelashes, just a hair. He doesn't really have any um, imperfections or scratches that I'm going to take out, but if I were, I would use the patch tool. Now I'm going to edit the color of him here. We're going to use the curves tool and the red. We're going to bring down the red just a hair. And then we're going to do a saturation level, bring down the saturation just a hair. We're going to invert that layer, select our brush, and then we're going to paint over the baby to pull some of the red out of his skin. Okay, now that we've done that, I am going to merge these layers again and I'm going to sharpen it and I am going to duplicate my layer. I am going to do a high pass and you can create keyboard shortcuts for these to make it go much quicker. I just want to set this where I can just barely see the outline here of the picture. Tell it OK, make it an overlay. If it's really grainy on parts of the baby, kind of like his forehead is here, we can just kind of erase that off. Just erase it off a little bit. And then we are going to merge those layers again. And we're going to finish up his skin by duplicating the layer, running a Portraiture plugin. This is a plugin you have to purchase separate, but I think it does wonders for baby skin. We're going to tell it okay. We are going to erase it off of anything we don't really want blurred. We're going to erase his eyes. Looking at this picture, I think that though it's finished, he's still a little bit red. So I'm going to take just a little bit more red out of the baby here. And because it's making my background kind of blue, I'm going to invert that layer. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to just paint right over the baby so that I'm only taking the red out of him 
and not out of the background. And for display purposes, I'm going to merge my layers again so that I can show you the difference from where we started and where we ended up. So this is the image we started with. This is the nice softened image we ended up with. Our beginning and our end. And that's it. So I hope this helps. Um, for my purposes, I would now watermark the image, save it smaller for web, and post it online. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.